What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my channel, Money Moves with Kay. I'm Kay, and today we wanna to talk about real estate auction websites that other investors don't want you to know about. If that's something that you're interested in, please stay tuned for the video. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video. I have a bonus website that you can check out for online auctions that you don't wanna miss. The first website we're gonna talk about is a website called govease.com. Now, govease.com covers a wide range of states and they sell both tax liens and tax deeds. Now, I think it's important here to differentiate the difference between a tax lien and a tax deed. Now, with a tax lien, you do not get possession of the property until the redemption period is over. Instead, you'll be receiving a tax lien certificate in which you receive yearly interest until the redemption period is over. Keep in mind during the redemption period that owners of the property can redeem the property. If this happens, you, the investor, will receive the full amount that you pay for the property plus interest and any penalties. With a tax lien, it's important to note that most counties will not push or evict the actual owner out of the property. So you, the investor, if you purchase a, a property and the actual owner is still in the property, they stay there until pretty much the redemption period is over. And in certain states, it depends. It could last for months, the redemption period, or it could last for years, like three years for states like Colorado. So just keep, it, keep that in mind when you're purchasing these properties. If you purchase, just know that the owner could very well stay in the property until the redemption period is actually over. Which brings me to my next point. Redemption periods can last from months to years. So ensure, please ensure that you research each individual state so that you know what you can expect with regards to the redemption period. Now, tax deeds are a little bit different because you gain possession of the property after your bid is accepted. Now, with tax deeds, the county is authorized to confiscate or seize the property and sell to investors such as you and I. So it can kind of make your decision whether you want to invest in tax deeds or tax liens, depending on your overall goal, okay? So if you want the possession very, like, after you win the bid of the property, it will take some months because I've gone through this process as well. But if you want the... Uh, possession of the property immediately after you win the bid, tax deeds might be the way that you want to go. If you're in it for the long term and you don't mind waiting a year, two years, three years, then tax liens uh, may be the option for you. Now, my family and I did purchase an acre of land for $4,000 in the state of North Carolina. North Carolina is a tax deed state. So once our bid was accepted, we gained possession of the property. If you're interested in watching that video, I did a video on this particular process. So I'll link it in the description below. Next on the list is ZeusAuction.com. Now, ZeusAuction.com has online auctions in the states of Iowa, Indiana, Louisiana, Colorado, Florida, and most of these states are considered tax lien states. Now, with every one of my videos, I always, always stress to do your own due diligence on these properties. It's very important to do your research on the front end, so on the back end, when you actually purchase the property, that you're happy and satisfied with your purchase, okay? So please make sure you do your due diligence on all of these properties. Next on the list is GrantStreet.com, and GrantStreet.com is a hidden gem. They sell both tax liens and tax deeds, and the actual website is very, very easy to navigate. GrantStreet.com typically has online auctions in the states of Maryland, Arizona, Florida, and California. Coming in next on the list is CivicSource.com. Now, CivicSource typically has online auctions in Missouri, Tennessee, Mississippi, and Louisiana. Now, Civic Source is a pretty cool website in which I'm actually looking at some properties in Tennessee myself, some land and some pro some actual dwellings, right? Uh, some single family properties. So give it a shot. It's very easy to navigate. And the thing I like about the um, website is that they give the redemption period. So you can kind of get an idea of how long it's going to take for you to um, recoup your money back or to take possession of the property if it's a tax lien state, which most of these are tax lien states. If this video has brought you any type of value, go ahead and like, comment, share, and consider subscribing to the channel. It allows me to get this content out to you so we can all be lifetime learners. All right, without further ado, let's get back to the video. The next resource I have for you is to go directly to the county's website. Oftentimes, counties have a tax foreclosure list directly on their website. So if you go to their website, they'll list the time of the auction, whether it's online or in person. They'll list the parcel ID, which is the identifier, identifying number for that particular uh, parcel of land or the actual home. They'll also list the amount of taxes that were unpaid that would be expected at the time of the auction. My bonus website is a heavy hitter, and I saved it for last for a reason. It's realauction.com. 
The reason why I like realauction.com is because it has a wide variety of counties and states. Also, it sells both tax liens and tax deeds. Real Auction is also pretty cool because it's very organized and it has a plethora of properties. So a lot of you are caught between whether you should invest in tax liens or tax deeds. And of course, that decision is up to you. What I would say is that all these websites provide auctions with properties for pennies on the dollar. So that would mean that you have to strategize up front to see where you where you end up. What is your ultimate goal with real estate, right? Now I will say, if you don't mind waiting for example, three years for the redemption period to be over and your ultimate goal is the long game and you really don't mind and you really are adamant about getting a really good deal, um, then tax lien investing might be for you. There are pros and cons to both tax lien investing and tax deed investing, but keep that in mind. Now, on the flip side, if you are a person that says, hey, I want the property after I win the bid, right? After my bid is accepted, I would like the property and I would like to do with the property as I may, as I will. Then tax deed investing might be your thing. So keep that in mind, but Either way, make sure you strategize up front so you know what your ultimate goal is so you don't waste any time because these auctions are ticking. And a lot of auctions happen towards the end of the year. So also keep that in mind, okay? So October, November, December, January even. Um, some auctions happen in May in the, in the springtime, but the end of the year is the secret sauce. So make sure you have your money together. Make sure you have your strategy together. Make sure you do your due diligence. Do not purchase any of these properties without sight unseen. Either you go see them or you trust somebody to go see them for you. Um, make sure you do a uh, title search if you can. All of these things uh, attribute to the research you should do on the front end. So the reason why I stress due diligence so much is because both options are kind of risky, right? You're going into a property in which you're getting for pennies on a dollar and you could get anything, right? So this should not be a sight unseen type of thing. You should see what you're getting into. Look at it on the map. Look at it on Google Earth. Analyze the mess out of these properties before you even bid so you know what you're getting into. I've heard personally horror stories of folks uh, like purchasing little slithers of land. They get to the land. They didn't go look to see it. They didn't do any of that due diligence. They get there and like, man, I can't use this land or it's a, in a flood zone. It's a whole gamut of things that can happen and will happen if you don't prep and if you don't do your due diligence in the beginning. I can't stress that enough. So yeah, that's it for the due diligence part. Now, this is a side note. For those of you who love land like myself, this is amazing. Like tax liens and tax deeds offer that opportunity for no emotional connection to the property and for you to slide in and get the property for an excellent, excellent deal. So there are a ton. I've already rummaged through all of these websites. There are a ton of land deals for like $100, $200, $800, $1,000 and more. And these are, this is acreage. Like this is not just like 0.5 acres. This is like 15, 16 acres depending on where you're looking. I was looking in Colorado, Tennessee, all these different states. So keep that in mind. This is a nugget for finding land deals. And you can buy low and sell high later. But, oh man, it's so many deals on these websites. Please check it out. But of course, um, make sure it's a right fit for you. A quick note about tax lien investing is also that you want to strategize your interest rates, right? So as I stated earlier, you will receive interest every year that you have that property. You'll receive a specific amount of interest on the money that you've already put up for the back taxes owed for that property. So it would be prudent, I would think, to strategize up front to say, hey, these states offer a high interest rate. So let me try to invest in these states, right? Let me try to get a, a tax lien certificate in these particular states. I know Florida, for example, is a really good way or really good state that offers a high interest rate. A lot of other ones do as well. So do your research up front with that as well. I wanted to throw that in because that's very key when trying to navigate uh, which states you should even start with. If you made it to this part of the video, man, you are a true money mover and I appreciate you for sure. And do me a favor so that I can shout you out and see who you are in the comment section type, let's go, all right? So let's go, type that in the comment section so that I know that you made it to this point of the video. That's the end of my video. Thank you so, so very much for making it to this point. Until next time, guys, you stay blessed. Peace.